Hello folks. I promise you the shipping information for this Superman statue here. So I have that for you. The hold on, I wrote it down. All right, shipping this via USPS priority is ten dollars and thirty five cents up to eighteen dollars and five cents the size of the box it will ship in is 11 by 9 by 6 the approximate weight is one pound 12 ounces if you enter the contest and if you win this statue if you want to ship it some way other than USPS, feel free to do so. That's up to you. But I just wanted to give everyone the approximate shipping cost and the size of the box it will ship in. All right, so, so much for that. Let's move on to other things. I'm here to give you the latest update on Harley. Again, folks, I'm really taking my time with this statue outside of carnage which is relatively easy to work on this is my first major statue repair so i want to take my time with it all right where is that pointer this will work what i have done okay i talked about that in the last video i talked about the hair let me see that hair is still a little bit loose. I put some epoxy under there, but I may have to add more. I just don't want that to break off because it's so loose. All right, what else have I done? I'm really anxious to get to the painting part, get all the stuff painted, but before I do that, I have to get all this other stuff done, fixing all the chips and cracks and gluing everything together. I guess that's a big thing with this statue repair. You have to be patient because you want to hear it and get it done and see your finished work, but you just can't rush it. All right. The last video was pretty long, so I'm going to try to keep this one short. All right. What I have done, and I attempted to explain this in one of my other videos, but I just don't have the terminology to explain all the stuff involved with this repair. So I kind of fumbled through it and all right, so both of the ankles were cracked. That allowed the foot to rotate left and right, and it allowed it to rotate up and down. That created a lot of issues because the feet were no longer aligned with the base. I guess that's the right way to say it. Everything was off. So I attempted to fix all of that by moving the feet around until they were in the approximately correct position. And I, that's why I use this statue. I'm trying to use that one as a reference. So I used that to attempt to do that. Now, even though I did all of that, things still weren't lined up right. So what I did, is that pointer, I added some epoxy here because this is still not totally flat on the base. And I would have to add some epoxy to the bottom of this one. But don't worry, I will be sanding this out and making it look a lot better than what it looks now. I believe in a previous video I did already talk about gluing the ankles so they no longer rotate. I also glued on the top part of the boot so that's no longer loose. I even attempted, and keyword attempt, I attempted to repair the fishnets but that didn't turn out as, as good as I wanted. But I have two more, I think I have two more tries left. There's a spot here. I did learn something from that first attempted repair, so I'm gonna try to repair that. And there's one here, I'm gonna try to repair that and see how that goes. Let me see, okay, here's my handiwork on the back of the boots. And yes, I will be sanding this down and trying to color match this boot right here, the white part also some of the black all right one more thing because 
because of the boots being out of alignment with the base, the heels no longer, how can I say it? Okay, forget all that. In order to get the boots to touch the base, I had to extend, come on focus, I had to extend this heel right here. And you can see it's a little bit longer than the other one, but unless you're really paying attention to it, you're not gonna know it's there. And so now this comes in contact with the base, which gives more support to the statue, keeps it from wobbling so much. And that was a big problem from the beginning. Now, of course, I will be sanding this down after it hardens some more, and I will try to color match the heel and paint that. Let me see, there was something else. Okay. I have added epoxy. I think I added epoxy once, but I had to drill it out, and I had to add more epoxy. And that epoxy is to allow the stud, what is it called, that thing? Where's my pointer? That allows this to fit into there tightly and keep it from wobbling around. So that's it, folks. So, oh, one more thing. Never knew I would be going into jewelry design, but that's the point I'm at right now with this statue. Where is it? There we go. I have fabricated a bracelet for the one that's missing. And this took a long time because it's so small. And I will attempt, I can't promise, but I will attempt to file down the spikes. Uh, but as soon as one of them breaks from filing, I'm going to leave the rest alone and go with what I got. And I will be painting this. I believe the, yes, yeah, kind of a, it is a gold color. So I will be trying to color match this and paint it. I got to learn a lot about matching colors. All right, so that's it for now, folks, and I will be back with more. So I hope you stay tuned, come back, subscribe if you haven't done so. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Bye.